Dodge City and in the territory on West, there's just one way to handle the killers and the spoilers, and that's with a U.S. Marshal and the smell of gun smoke. Starring William Conrad, the story of the violence that moved west with young America, and the story of a man who moved with it. I'm that man, Matt Dillon, United States Marshal. The first man they look for and the last they want to meet. It's a chancy job, and it makes a man watchful and a little lonely. Kitty, I thought you weren't coming to work till this evening. Right. It's hotter at the boarding house than it is here in the saloon. You got your hair fixed different. Yeah. How you like it done up like this? Nice, real nice. Maybe I'll have it this way then. See what some of the men think of it. Honey, it isn't the way you fix your hair that attracts men. Oh, I know that. <laughs> Just thought some of them might notice, that's all. They will. One in particular. Hey, you mean Roke? Uh-huh. How is he, by the way? I haven't seen him in here the last few days. He's been doing some ranch work for old man Johnson. Oh, sounds like he's settling down. You better watch out, Lori. He's liable to ask you to marry him. No, not Roke. He likes me, but he won't ask me to marry him. Well, you can never tell. I'm a saloon girl, Kitty. Men don't ask saloon girls to marry him. It's happened. Not to me, it hasn't. Well, look at that. What? Looks like you've got company. Howdy, Miss Kitty. Lori. Hello, Rose. Hello, Rose. Well, I've got some work to do. I'll see you later. All right. Bye, Kitty. Kitty. You mind if I sit down? Well, you just help yourself. There. You, uh, you finished your job? Oh, yeah. He just wanted some fence fix. It didn't amount to much. You make enough money to buy me some beer? <laughs> sure. Uh, Sam, bring us a couple of beers, will you? Right away. Hey, you know, I I, I kind of missed you the past few days, Lori. Why, you sound surprised. Well, <laughs> there ain't many women I ever missed. Now, what makes me so special? Hmm? Uh, I, I don't know. I, uh, just when I was out there fixing the fence, I, I, I just got thinking about you. But, oh... How you move and walk and all. And... Well, most people move and walk. Oh, yeah, but it's different with you. You know what I mean. Here's your beer. Thank you, Sam. <clears throat> now, come on, Rogue. Tell me what you mean. What makes me so different from other people? Uh... <laughs> you know what I mean, Laurie. I, 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 just thinking about you just made me want to come to town, that's all. <laughs> well, I sure didn't know you liked me because of the way I walk. Oh, it ain't only that, you know it. Well, that's what you said. No, 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 I done not know such of a thing. You're just putting words <laughs> in my mouth. Now, maybe I should uh, get up and walk for you oh, now. Oh, come on, Laura, you just cut out teasing me. <laughs> I think you're getting mad. No, no, just no, I ain't getting mad. Of course, I, I could go tea some other man. Maybe they wouldn't get so riled. Why? Well, like that, when they just came in. You mean whiskey, Bucky? Yes, sir. <laughs> I bet he ain't took a bath in six months. Yeah. Or seen a woman. No, likely not. He's a buffalo hunter, I guess. You know, maybe after all that time, he needs to see something besides buffalo and sagebrush. I think I'll go over. Laurie, no, uh, Laurie, no, Laurie, leave him be. Laurie. I'd be fine. No, no you, you be careful, Laurie. You never tell about a fellow like that. <laughs> You're jealous, Rogue. No, I ain't. <laughs> no, it's just, just I, I don't like to see you get all tangled up with something you can't handle. Because, like you said, he, 
he probably ain't seen a woman take I him out. I think you really are jealous. Well, right? no, I... All right, you go go on ahead. See if I care. All right. I'll be back in a few yeah, minutes. Yeah, sure, sure. Oh? You talking to me? Well, no. A gentleman usually takes his hat off when he's talking to a lady. Why, well, yes, ma'am. I, I reckon I plumb forgot my manners. What's your name? Wilson, ma'am. Chug Wilson. Oh, that's a handsome name. You a buffalo hunter? Yes, ma'am. Well, I bet you're just about the best buffalo hunter there is, too. I I got my share of hides right enough. Uh, why don't you uh, why don't you buy me a drink, Chug? Yes, ma'am. Barkeep. Yes, sir. Give me another glass. Uh, my name is Lori. Lori? Mm-hmm. Here you are. Thanks. Lori, that's a pretty name. How long you been in Dodge, Chug? I just rode in. Here you are, ma'am. Thanks. Well, I'm sure glad you did ride in. You are? Of course I am. When I get to town, there ain't usually many women that'll bother talking to me. Well, you've got one talking to you now. Yes, ma'am, and it's downright pleasurable. You gonna stay in Dodge a while? I was only aiming to be here long enough to sell my hides, Miss Laurie, but I just might stay a piece. Well, that'd be real nice, Chuck. You can buy me another drink sometime. I could buy you one tonight. I could buy you a whole table full of drinks tonight after I sell my hides. You'll be here, won't you? I mean, I, I mean, you you ain't going nowhere. No, I'll be here. Well, that's fine, Miss Lori. That's just fine. I'll get my business took care of, but I'll be back later on. Sure. Bye, Miss Lori. Bye. <laughs> I tell you, <laughs> he really hasn't seen a woman in months, maybe not talked to one in years. Yeah, he sure was stumbling all over himself. <laughs> I thought I'd bust out laughing. <laughs> yeah. Well, didn't you think it was funny? Well, Lori, he... he might have took you more serious than you figure. Ah, I'll let him buy me a drink sometime. He'll forget all about it. Yeah. I just hope you ain't piling up trouble for yourself. Oh, Rog, I'm just having fun, that's all. Just having fun. Laurie, I'm about ready to close up. I'll close up for you, Kitty. I, I promised Roke I'd wait for him. Oh. All right. Why don't you sit down for a minute? Yeah, I think I will. Oh, I'm tired. I sure were a lot of people in here tonight. Yeah. I swear, I don't know where they all come from. Well, Dodge is growing. Sometimes I wish it had stopped. Oh, hello, Matt. Hello, Kitty. Lori. How are you, Marshal? I'm fine, thanks. Well, Sam's gone, but I'll get you a beer if you want, Matt. Oh, no, thanks, Kitty. I was just on my way by. I thought maybe I'd walk you home. I'd like it better if you'd carry me. My feet hurt. <laughs> maybe next time. For you. Well, you don't mind closing up, Lori? Of course not. I told Sam I'd put the glasses away anyhow. Uh-huh. Good night, then. Good night. Good night, Marshal. Good night, Lori. Hello, Roke. Oh. Oh, I thought you were Roke. I'm right sorry it took me so long getting back here, Miss Lori. 
It's mighty nice to see you waiting for me, though. Okay, I'm waiting for somebody else, Chug. You promised you'd have a drink with me. Uh, some other time. I, I'm tired now. But you promised. That was this afternoon. Now, now I'm tired and I just want to be left alone. So leave me alone, huh? Well, I don't hardly seem right. Well, that's the way it is. I don't figure it that way, Miss Laurie. You and me, uh, we're going to have a drink now. Now, listen. I don't want a drink. And I sure don't want one with you. You was powerful nice to me this afternoon. How come you ain't that way now? Look, I was having fun this afternoon. Now I'm not, so get out of here. Miss Laurie, I ain't never had a woman talk to me the way you done. I told you to get out of here. I've made up my mind about you. What do you mean by that? Well, I reckon you and me, we're going to get along just fine. You and me? You get out of here. I'll break a bottle over your head. Did you hear what I said? What, what's wrong, Laurie? You got some trouble? Everything's fine, mister. Wait. Ain't you a buffalo hunter was in here this afternoon? That's right. In Miss Lori, she said she'd have a drink oh, with me. Oh, look, she's just funning you today. That didn't mean nothing. She did to me. Come on, Lori. I'll take you home. You ain't had your drink yet, Miss Lori. No, and I'm not going to. Let's go. Yeah. Just hold it. Right where you're at. Here's your drink, Miss Lori. Well, now, look, Chuck. You just don't keep really shut, want... Mr. Roke. Take your drink, Miss Lori. Well, I, I told you she don't want it. You knocked that glass out of my hand. Yeah, and I'm going to do a lot more if you don't leave her alone. Oh, I squash you. No, 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 Chuck, I'll please. Squash no, you. No, put him down. Right. Don't, don't okay. leave. Chuck, I'll have a drink with you. I promise. I'll have a drink. Let him go. All right, Miss Lurie. You all right, Rook? You hurt bad? You stay away from her, you hear, Mr. Rook? From now on, you stay away. You don't own her. And you better know it. I'll tell you something. Miss Lurie, she belongs to me. I've been thinking on it real hard. And I've made up my mind. Oh, for heaven's sake. I declare Delmonico's cooking is just getting better all the time. That was a good steak. Better? It tasted like shoe leather. What? You heard me, shoe leather. <laughs> Mr. Dillon, was that a good steak or not? Well, I don't know, Chester. I didn't have one. If you think it was so bad, Doc, why in tarnation you eat here? Where else am I going to eat? Well, do your own cook. Oh, yes. I'd do that, Jesse. I'd sure do that. Only I'm not blessed with as much leisure time as some people I know. Leisure time? Why, you ain't done a lick of work all morning. You've just been sitting over there in front of the Dodge house, walking oh, full... Chester, why don't you shut well, up? Well, he's darned it, Mr. Marshall. Down. Marshall. I seen you in here. I, I got to talk to you. Oh, what's the trouble, Rose? Well, it's Chug Wilson... He's, well, who's Chuck Wilson? He, he, he's a buffalo hunter coming to Dodge yesterday. I yeah, saw. So. Well, last night he most choked me to death. Oh, you look all right to me. Well, that's your, just because Laurie begged him out of it. Laurie? Yeah. Now, he thinks he owns her just because just she, well, she shined up to him. But that ain't the half of it. Oh, Marshall. what else? Well, this afternoon, just a little while back, I went looking for Laurie, and I couldn't find her, so I went to her boarding house. I knocked on the door. Now, who should open it but that Chug Wilson? Well, maybe Laurie invited him. Over. No, she didn't. She wouldn't do that. And besides, I seen her sitting right there in a chair, and she was all all scared looking. She hurt? Well, I, I don't know. Because before I could do anything, he, when he picked me up, he threw me clean down the stairs like to broke every bone in my body. Now, M M Marshal, you, I want you to do something, Marshal. Throw him in jail. I'm not going to throw a man in jail unless he breaks the law or hurts somebody, Roke. You don't look hurt to well, me. You, you're not going to do nothing? I'll find Chug Wilson and hear his side of it. Well, if you ain't some marshal... I haven't got time to nursemaid every drifter that comes to Dodge and looks cow-eyed at one of the saloon guys. All right, and you just better start building a pine box big enough to hold Chug Wilson, Marshal, because I'm going to get him. I'm going to fix him good. 
Chester's doing. He's mad enough to shoot somebody. Yeah. Come on, Chester. We better find out what this is all about. Yes, sir. I'll see you later, Doc. Uh, yes, all right. Come on, Doc. Maybe Chuck Wilson's still at the boarding house, Mr. Dillon. Yeah, maybe. Marshal! Marshal! What? Please. Marshal, you've got to help me. Oh, what is it, Lori? What's the matter? That buffalo hunter, Chuck Wilson, he just walked into my room, grabbed me, and told me I had to go with him. Then Roke come to the door, and Chuck threw him down the stairs. Yeah, Roke told me. I was scared. I ran out when he was fighting with Roke. I went to your office, but you weren't there, so I hid in the alley. What started all this, Lori? Oh, a joke, Marshal. Just a, a crazy joke. What kind of a joke? Oh, yesterday when, when Chug came to town, Roke and I were talking, and I, I thought it'd be funny if I, I kind of made up to Chug, you know, it, it teased him a little. Oh. That kind of a joke isn't very funny, Lori. Well, how was I to know he was going to take it seriously? You fool with a man's feelings, you're going to get in trouble. Marshal, please, you got to keep him away from me. He's going to do something crazy. I just know it. Lori! There he is. He's come for me. You just take it easy. If you don't want to go with him, you don't have to. How come you run out on me, Lori? You shouldn't... Who are you? I'm the Marshal here, Chuck. You trying to get Lori away from me, Marshal? I'm not trying to do anything, but Lori doesn't want you. That ain't so. Why don't you ask her? There's no need. Yesterday in the saloon, she told me she was mighty glad I'd come to town. Right then, she told me. I, I was only having some fun yesterday. It said Roke Judson. He's trying to turn you against me. Chug, you just can't grab a woman and run off with her because she tells you she's glad you came to town. Why not? Because I'm telling you right now, you stay away from Lori. Don't you go near her anymore. Lori's mine, Marshal. She's been mine since I first seen her yesterday. And ain't nobody gonna take her away from me. Not you. Not nobody. Coffee? Yeah, maybe it'll wake me up. You know, I've been worrying about Chug Wilson and Glory all night long. Do you suppose he'll leave her alone like you told him to? Oh, I don't know, Chester. Makes you feel kind of sorry for him, don't it? I mean, the way she was teasing him and all. Yeah, she's paying for it now. Well, yes, sir, but so is Chug. Well, he'll get over it. Yeah, I don't know. Chester, what did you make this coffee with? Axle grease? Why, it's the same as I always make it. Only this time I put in a little more chicory. Well, next time try washing out the pot, huh? Washing out the pot? Well, now, if you ain't careful, you can wash the flavor clean out of a pot by doing that. Well, hello, Ma. Chester, where's that? Oh, Marshal. What's the matter, Moss? Well, maybe it ain't nothing. But it just seemed kind of funny, that's all. Oh, what's wrong? About an hour ago, this big buffalo hunter come into my stable. Chug something or other. I never did hear his last name. He wanted a horse and rig, so I rented him one. And then him and this girl lit out. Girl? Yeah, you know, that saloon girl, Lori. And I got to thinking afterwards. That Lori, she looked awful scared. Mr. Dunn, he's done it. He's kidnapped her. Come on, Chester. <laughs> At least the buggy trail is easy to follow, Mr. Dillon. Yeah. Doesn't look like they're moving very fast. I wonder how come Chuck to do a thing like that. Well, he's a stubborn man, Chester. Well, I don't know, but it sure does seem crazy. I guess when Chuck makes up his mind, nothing's going to change Mr. Dillon, look. Yeah. There's somebody hanging from that tree on it. Yeah, let's go. Chester. Yes, sir. 
Mr. Dillon? Yeah. Rogue Judson. Hey, easy now. His neck's broke. Yeah, and that didn't happen long ago. No, sir. Mr. Dillon, you supposed to chug Wilson done this? Yeah, it looks that way. Chester. That's it, ain't it? That's Moss Grimmick's buggy down there by the creek. I don't see Lori nowhere, so. No, but there's Chug walking around. Yes, sir. Come on. Say far, Marshal. Don't need to be much. Sometimes a little can be too much. What do you mean by that? That's something I guess you don't understand, Chug. Laurie didn't understand it either. Hollywood by Norman MacDonald stars William Conrad as Matt Dillon, U.S. Marshal. The story was specially written for Gunsmoke by Ray Kemper, with editorial supervision by John Meston. Featured in the cast were Barney Phillips, Virginia Christine, Lawrence Dobkin, and James Nusser. Harley Bear is Chester, Howard McNear is Doc, and Georgia Hawkins is Kitty. It's a real pleasure to welcome back radio station WKNE of Keene, New Hampshire, as an affiliate of the CBS Radio Network, and to greet station WKVT, Brattleboro, Vermont. Both stations became CBS Radio Network affiliates on November 29th. This is George Walsh inviting you to join us again next week when CBS Radio presents another story on Gunsmoke.